Hey, welcome back to my video series from online event storming to amazing software. My name is Alex and today I'm going to talk about our coding bot Cody. If you missed my first video about Proofbot, there's a link in the video description. I think it makes sense for you to watch it first so that you know what I'm talking about here, okay? So this video is more for the techies, but don't worry. I try to keep things on a high level so that everybody can follow. My plan is to connect our proof board with an open source project called Event Catalog and Cody will help me with that. So let's start with a little bit of theory and then we dive deeper into the practical part. In the proof board wiki you find information about Cody. So we have a Node.js tutorial, we have a PHP tutorial and information how a server implementation should look like with some slides explaining the basic functionality of Kodi. So we are talking about real-time code generation. As I already said, our coding bot is called Kodi and he can turn your design into working code. How that works is explained on the next slides. So here you see a screenshot from Proofboard with a designed message flow and some metadata set for the event here, for example. And then you can trigger Cody with this information directly from Proofboard from this Cody console that you see here in the screenshot. What happens when Cody is triggered? Let's see. Proofboard takes the information from the modeling workspace, combines it with the metadata that is set and sends everything to a local HTTP server. The server should have write access to your source code to your project. And then you can implement those hooks for example, when we send an event, then the on event hook is called with the information like the event name, the metadata, and also the connected sources and targets. From this information, you can generate the code and then return a Kodi response that is shown in the console. With the Kodi response, the developer of the hook can communicate with the user working on the proof board. For example, a question can be returned like, should this file be overwritten? And the user can answer with yes or no from the console. Then information can be returned and this information can have a custom style. And of course, if something goes wrong, Cody can return an error. It's important to note that Cody itself is open source. We have presets for TypeScript using Node.js and Express. We have a PHP implementation using React PHP and Laminas, but you can everything do it yourself with custom sticky types, with um, custom metadata templates, and a custom Kodi server implementation in your favorite language. It's just an HTTP server handling a few different requests, and this can be written in a day or two. To summarize it, Kodi is a HTTP server running on your local machine with a unified Kodi response format. The responses are shown on the proof board in the Kodi console. And that's it. Now that we know what Kodi is, it's time to get back to proof board. Okay, as a next step, I would like to prepare a high level architecture overview of an air cargo company. Of course, only as an example, so it will be simplified, but it should have enough information to be shown later in the event catalog. I do this in the time lapse so that the video is not getting too long. Okay, here we have a high level overview of an air cargo company. I go quickly through the process and explain you what I have designed. So the company receives shipping orders for parcels from customers and based on the origin and destination of a shipping order, flight routes are calculated. But before the parcels can be transported by an airplane, a first mile provider has to be commissioned. The first mile provider picks up the parcels from the customer warehouse 
and brings them to the airport. At the airport, parcels are scanned by agents and packed into transport units. Those transport units are then booked on a flight that was calculated by the system. From the airline we receive information about departure and landing and at the destination airport the parcels are picked up by a last mile provider and are delivered to the customers. Okay, that's the process. And as a next step, I would like to see the same events and the context that I have sketched here in Event Catalog. For this, we have a look at Event Catalog itself first and then see how Kodi can help us achieve our goal. Event Catalog is available on GitHub and it is maintained by David Boyne. It's an open source project to discover, explore and document your event-driven architecture. The website is available at eventcatalog.dev and on the website, we see the UI of Event Catalog. You can document your events, domains, and services. And you do this by using these markdown files with front matter to provide Event Catalog with some metadata. And all this is then rendered into a documentation. I followed the Getting Started guide and have an Event Catalog running on my local machine. It's available on localhost port 3000. And if we have a look at the catalog, we see that I have no events and no services documented at the moment. I want to change that with the help of Kodi. And for this, I switch to my IDE and install the Kodi server. So Event Catalog runs on Node.js. And as I said before, we have a TypeScript Node.js implementation of Kodi available as open source. So we can use NPM to install it. NPM install dev proofboard Kodi server. So that takes a moment. And then I would also like to install the Kodi utils, which provides us with some helper functions to process information derived from Proofboard. The utils are also installed. So as a next step, we can run a command with mpx. And that command is called Proofboard init, which creates a Kodi config ts file in the project root. If we have a look at the file, we see that an object is exported with two properties, a context and the configuration for the hooks. The context is taken by the Kodi server and passed to each hook. So we can use it to provide information to our hooks. I would like to provide the information about the source folder to um, the hooks that we are going to implement in a second. And the source folder in this case is just the project root because uh, if we have a look at event catalog structure, we see that um, in the project root, we have an events folder and a services folder. And in those two folders, we want to place the markdown files. So our source folder is just the project root. And then from there, our hook can navigate into the subdirectories and write the markdown files. So um, since we are using TypeScript, it would also be nice to um, yeah, create an interface for the context object so that we have typed hooks. And for this, I create a directory called .cody hooks. And in this directory, I place my context interface. So export interface context. And the context contains the source folder. And yeah, that's, that's okay for now. Next, we need the hook. And for this, I create another file and call it on event hook ts, of course, with a dot. And yeah, to save some time, I've prepared a GIST with the implementation. I will link the GIST in the video description so you can have a look later if you are interested in some details. I will go through the implementation when I've copied it over. Um, so let's give me a sec. Okay. What follows is the hook implementation itself. It's an async function that gets the node, in this case an event, as a first argument and the context that we talked about as a second argument. It returns a promise that resolves to a Kodi response and the implementation itself uses the Kodi util functions that I have installed to get, for example, the event name, the metadata and so on. It can check for Kodi errors returned by the util functions 
and uh, yeah then it just goes through the information derived from proof board and creates event markdown files service markdown files and writes everything into the respective directories i would say that we just see it in action and if you are interested in the details then you have a look at the gist okay now we need to tell Cody about our hook. We can do this in the Cody config. And we just uncomment the hook here and import it into the file. And then we can start the Cody server with another command npx um, proof board start. And now the Cody server is running at port 3311. So that's the default port for our Kodi, also in the proof board. So we can trigger Kodi and connect to it. Yeah, and Kodi says hello. Perfect. So now we can see if our hook works as expected. So let's try that. I trigger Kodi again with this event and it looks good. Kodi has added the event with version 100 to our event catalog. Let's see if that's true. It takes a second to load and yeah, here it is. Our event is in event catalog. Very nice. Looking at the event details, we see that all the information from Proofbot are now also available in event catalog. So we have the event name, we have the version, a summary and the description. We have the schema of the event that is defined in the metadata on proof board and we see the connection from logistics administration as a producer of the flight route calculated event and the consumers airport handling and last mile so this looks pretty nice right let me summarize what we did we started with a high level architecture overview of our air cargo company we sketched the most important events the context that produce and consume them and set some metadata that is useful to be shown in the event catalog. Then we installed a Kodi server in our event catalog project as a dependency, configured it through the Kodi config and implemented a hook that is responsible for taking the information from Proofboard and translate them into Markdown files that can be read by event catalog and then shown in the UI. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the session and that you will have a look at Kodi. I will provide the link to the wiki and to our TypeScript and PHP implementation in the video description. Next time we will do a big picture event storming, so see you there again. Bye!